Hi, this video is going to show you how to set the gross weight and the weight unit for it uh, if you're trying to create a material master using a BAPI. This is a pretty common question um, that we see. You could easily find the answer um, through some Google searches. You'll actually find a lot of searches that will lead you down the wrong path, but, but eventually you'd find the right answer. Um, but I see this question enough that uh, thought we would uh, create a video on it on, on how this uh, gross weight gets gets set. So so let's go ahead and take a look at the BAPI. So it's BAPI, BAPI material saved data and I've got a test already saved here for us and um, the trick is so, so you see the, well here's where the confusion comes in. Uh, we, you see we've got the uh, base unit of measure here of each and this is in the client data uh, structure and where the confusion comes in is people see the um, uh, the net weight here uh, right here in this structure and they expect to see the gross weight as well and they don't see it um, but if I back out you'll the so where the gross weight really gets set is in the unit of measure table um, so the uh, when you're creating a material for the first time, if you're not creating any um, alternate units of measure, uh, you still have to fill out this unit of measure table if you want to set the gross weight. And what you do is you just you just put the base unit of measure you you, you put it as the alternate unit. Uh, so so the same value there, and you put in your gross weight and the um, uh, the unit of the weight okay so, so you, so you got to fill those in now don't forget even in create mode you do have to fill out uh, the table here um, to indicate that you are setting those those fields so I've got my each here and in indicators that I am um, uh, adding both the gross weight and the uh, unit of, of weight so let's go ahead and back out and we'll go ahead and test this and make sure that this works. Uh, I've just also got a, a material description filled out and then some other um, basic stuff. But this is the real um, uh, important part right here is the unit of, of measure table. Um, and let's go ahead and run this. This one does not need um, the transaction commit BAPI. All right, good. And you see that that material Z test GW has been created. And let's go ahead and check it out and see if that worked fine. Z test GW. Okay. And indeed it did. So there's our gross weight of, of 90. And, and, you, and you see that if you go to the um, uh, table here and you'll scroll over. So you, you'll, you'll see that yeah, right you got your each and each which is what you'd get if you were to create this through mm01 and then you see the gross weights here actually in this table as well um, but that that's how you get that uh, the gross weight to populate through the BAPI um, I hope that was a helpful video again that's something you you could have found um, uh, if you took your time through some Google searches but um, hopefully you find my video first and this um, uh, helps you out thanks a lot